Greetings, this is Jeff from Cantac, and today we're going to take a look at installing a KT-1 with EnterPass Corporate Edition. First of all, we're going to look at how to hard reset it to factory default, then how to set a KT-1 to a static IP address, and then how to configure the new connection in EnterPass, and we'll also take a look at best practices. But first, let's take a look at how to hard reset the KT-1 to factory default. Now you can see the KT-1. We press the reset button and hold for three seconds. Then we press three times, get a confirmation, and press for three seconds again. As you can see, the KT-1 now reboots. And there we see the factory default Alright, next, let's set the KT-1 to a static IP address. To do that, we're going to press the reset button and hold for three seconds. And then we will press two times. Get a confirmation, and then press the reset button again for three seconds. As you can see, the KT-1 reboots again. And once it's done rebooting, we can see that it's a, on a static IP address with three long flashes and then a pause. Now, let's take a look at how to configure the new connection in EntraPass. And while we're doing that, we will also look at best practices while configuring this KT-1. Alright, so first thing we want to check, we want to go to Help and then About because you, know, you need to check the version of EntraPass. You need at least version 6.02.53 to be able to install a KT-1. So once that's verified, let's start by going to Devices, Connection. And then we're going to click on the New button to create a new connection. So you can give it a name. Let's just call it KT-1. Now, best practice would be to put a time zone in there. You put it in your current time zone, but it will still function even if you don't select a time zone. And connection type, let's select Secure IP KT1. And now let's go to the IP device IP configuration tab. First thing we'll want to put in is the MAC address of the KT1. So let's go ahead and enter that. And then online checkbox, we'll want to make sure it's checked. And we're going to select use the following IP address. And we're going to give it the factory default static IP address of 192.168.1.2. Subnet mask 255.255.255. Zero. And we don't need a gateway or a DNS. Protocol, we want to make sure it's TCP. And then on the right side, if we didn't put in the IP address of the gateway, you would check the override gateway IP address. And we're giving it the IP address of the machine that has the entry pass. Now, once that's done, we can go ahead and save. And we will click yes for the express setup. And then that's where you check the checkboxes if you have door contacts or Rexes. And then click OK. Now, once that's done, let's close and go take a look in Operation Connection. And you can see the IP device communication is unknown currently, and now it just failed. It fails because the KT-1 has not been configured yet with the web configuration or the KT Finder. But we're going to use an alternative method. We're going to click on the Broadcast IP Device button, and there we go. And, uh, and now we can see that the broadcast IP device has succeeded. It's now waiting for heartbeat. So you'll see it changed for a small period of time to fail to reach IP device, as you can see here. And then IP device communication OK. So it is now online. 
now that we've seen f what it looks like from the software's perspective, let's take a look at what it looks like from the KT-1's perspective. You see that the green LED comes on whenever the KT-1 receives the broadcast, and that forces it to reboot. And once it will have rebooted, then it should start communicating. And it, you can see that it starts communicating, all the LEDs turn off. If you want to turn on the LEDs, you just press the KT-1 button for three seconds. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.